little quick demo <clears throat> on chroming with Alcad 2. This is it's only 30 mil, it's mainly for models, but I'm doing it on a little bit of a larger scale. So here's one I've just done. So I've got my next one lined up. Let's move that out of the way. I've got my compressor set to about 15 psi. Got me painting the gun and just really gently a nice wide fan just putting a real light dust coat on at the moment you probably can't see it But what you do need is a high gloss black to start with. So, prep your surface, get it nice and smooth. What I've done here is I've sprayed it black and then I wet and dried it back. And then I went over with another nice rich wet layer of black as you can see that one there is just starting to go and down there up here is all still black so let's come around this top corner of this breastplate Sorry if the camera's not brilliant. It's not the easiest thing to do, hold the camera and watch what I'm doing. Right. So let me just... Change the angle of the dangle. And get around the bottom of this breastplate. Oh, it's probably getting a little bit boring now for those watching but the idea here, here I believe is really light wide coats especially on something as big as this and this is rather big compared to some of the aircraft models this stuff is originally made for so, I shall pause it there, put my brush down. Right, so that is still looking very black gloss at the moment, but chrome. Whoa, don't do that. As you can see, this side here is starting to chrome up. And that side, that one there, I literally just finished two minutes ago and I've not, I'm just waiting for it to go off a little bit more before I dust it over with a nice soft chamois, nice soft cloth, just get rid of the overspray and the dust and that will come up absolutely diamond. As you can see, look at that. So if you are looking to chrome, let me just turn the compressor off. I've turned the camera around. My bad. So that's Alcad 2 Chrome. Now this stuff is, um, always keep the lid on because it will evaporate really quick. Now it's ready to spray. It's really, really thin. So I would suggest putting, using a pipette to get it in your airbrush or put your airbrush on that lip there when you pour it in. Otherwise it'll run back down the bottle and it'll go everywhere because it is super thin. Other than that, happy days.